Okay. This is all about you. Happy New Year's. This is New Year's Eve of 20 of 2019. Can you believe that? I absolutely cannot. So I'm Gemini. Let's just hop right into the reading. Okay. Um, I'm going to do the full oracle card spread here. I'm sorry. Gemini, this is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. I'm going to do the full oracle card spread here. I will definitely flip the camera around so that you can see the whole cards, review them. But there's also always an extended below if you choose to watch. And that includes a romance reading. This is energies, Gemini, for the next seven days straight. So seven days out for Gemini. Gemini, sun, moon, rising. Wherever Gemini influences your natal chart, you can apply these energies for the next seven days. Gemini, it's a big reading. Lots of shit has to come out for you. Let's get right into it. Crowning your reading. Life is a mystery. Somebody is hiding. Somebody is hiding behind a mask. A great mystery is about to be revealed to you, in other words. Something that has been hidden. Something that has been kept sacred. Somebody that has intentionally been not, not been showing you who they really are. Or this energy could be yours. But this is a crowning energy of destiny is about to turn it on. Destiny is about to take this mask off. It's about to reveal. Almost like, remember that that new show that new show where it's like a masked singer right this is the, the mask is coming off it's about to be revealed i feel like there is something that you've been realizing something that you know has been hidden something that you know you know that it's not real you know that there has been a facade and something is going to be breaking through and that there is not a sincerity there is a there is and that's not necessarily malicious but it's just an energy of somebody not being prepared to really be themselves or or an energy of something not having had been ready. But now it's ready. This next seven days, the mask is about to be revealed and the mystery is about to break through and it's about to demonstrate itself to you. Something is going to become very clear. And I'm telling you right now, Gemini, this is all about divine timing. This has got nothing to do with you or them or any. This has got to do with alignment in the cosmos because this is eight. And that is divinity. That is infinity. That is one step beyond creation. And that is absolute destiny. So this is this is destiny that's happening. And so this is like divine timing that's happened. This is almost like divine intervention. There's going to be a big reveal over the next seven days, a, a, a reveal of, of somebody's true nature or the true nature of a situation or um, um, a big revelation, not, not big revelation inside of you, but outside. That's what I'm saying. It's like, this is external to you. This isn't a epiphany. That's not what this is. This is a, this is a big reveal. It's a revelation. It's not an epiphany. So it's not happening inside of you. You're already aware that something has been coming and that something is not, is not what it seems or that something has been intentionally hidden and that it's this close to the surface. Well, this mask is coming off, Gemini. I'm telling you right now, it's coming out. It's, it's, like the neck over the next seven days, let's get in, let's more get in more into your reading because this is just the energy that's crowning your reading. But in other words, divine timing is at play this week for you. Something is popping off that was meant to happen over these next seven days. It could not have happened any other time. It wouldn't have, it wouldn't happen before. And it's sure as heck going to happen now. And I, I know that you felt this coming that yes, you're right. There has been something that has been I'm sorry. There has been something that has been <laughs> so terrible. There has been something that has been hidden. There's something that has been. <sighs> Somebody has been trying to keep something from you, but they haven't been doing a very good job of it. Um, oh, lots of, lots of, lots of, lots of. Hold on. Give with gratitude and grace. Be very generous of spirit this week. Give with kindness and abundance. Understanding. People might be coming to you and asking you for a lot of things. Maybe. <laughs> It could be somebody asking you for a lot of advice. It could be somebody asking you for a lot of support. It could be somebody asking for, asking for you. It just It's almost like but be very giving. It's saying give of yourself this week, Gemini. Because that's what Turkey does, right? Turkey gives the ultimate gift of his own life. So this is the energy of just giving of your full self. Be, be completely open and giving. And this is 61. 6 plus 1 is 7. So this is the energy of creating. So what are you creating this week? What are you, A, setting up for yourself for your future? 
right? What are you preparing yourself for for the next year? Really set that in stone over this coming week, seven days, creation. What are you creating? Create with an open heart and open mind. Create with an open spirit. Be very generous. Be very abundant. Give, give, give. That's all it says. Energy of set healthy boundaries. I like these cards coming together. So it's like give, 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 but also protect yourself. Don't give too much. So remember what I said, give, give with your full self. Yeah, but don't give your full self. Set those healthy boundaries because there could be a tendency toward not you being willing to give too much, but somebody expecting too much. And it's almost like you're, good, you're going to go into this week ready and prepared to give all of who you are and then realize how you have to come up short because there's a set, there's a, there's a, there's a, a feeling of somebody wanting to take too much or asking too much. Nothing is wasted. This is finding finding treasure in the wreckage. This is finding something good in the bad. This is maybe setting your boundaries is the mixed blessing. The, the lesson of be, having to set boundaries in order to protect yourself or having been put in this situation where you absolutely setting boundaries is required. This is essentially the energy of, well, it was a blessing in disguise. But it's also essentially saying to you, there is something hidden beneath the rubble. There is something hidden beneath, beneath what seems to have been wasted. That's the message that I'm getting. Life is speeding up and this is your energy. Do you see the double helix too? Two becoming one. Energy and life and, and, and something manifesting and coming into being is happening, Gemini, this week. That's really interesting for you. Um, I needed to connect my Wi-Fi. Um, my puppy sleeping in the corner. Life is speeding up. It's a central energy. Hold on. Give me a second. Okay. You're going to have to choose who you take with and who you leave behind because your life is going places. And you're going to have to be selective and make a decision as to who gets cut and who gets to stay. Let spirit be your guide. Take that higher perspective, that raw, true, and honest perspective of what's real and what's really important to you. Be honest. This is air energy. So it's energy coming from you. This is seeing far out, you know, seeing in the distance, seeing in the future and being able to see things objectively. And air signs have that wonderful gift of being able to be objective. And I think that this is what it's saying is call on your brain and be objective and, and make these decisions um, through your intellect and through your high sight, your overview, your aerial perspective, don't get too close to this situation because this is, this is air energy do. It's almost saying you're going to be able to distinguish if you remain objective this week, Gemini, you will easily be able to distinguish what is real, what is fake, what should stay, what needs to go, who to, who and what boundaries need to be built. So where you need to set up boundaries and where you need to take them down. Because this is about setting healthy boundaries. So you don't want to put boundaries up where, you know, water needs to flow through. And if there's, there's water rushing through and drowning everything, then a dam needs to be built. So it's almost like you need to take an aerial perspective of everything that's going on in your life to see where the leaks and the cracks are. And you'll be able to repair them. You'll be able to see what needs to go and what needs to stay. Like what is a waste and what is not. Because it's not obvious. If you're in it and you don't hover above it and take that objective perspective, you're never going to, you're going to get lost in it. You're going to get bogged down and you might give too much of yourself. Transformation is beautiful. This is definitely a time in your life when you are you are being guided toward people who are more like you. You're going to be surrounded by people who are like your tribe. You're like finding your tribe. You're finding your vibe and you're letting people go who don't 
who don't fit in with that. It's not exclusivity. It's just like shedding a piece of you that doesn't exist anymore, right? A, a butterfly, you're spreading your wings. This is air energy too, but it's also scorpionic energy. And it's, it's going from a, a death, which is what the cocoon is. It's basically the digestion. It's almost like the stomach for the caterpillar. It digests the caterpillar and rebuilds itself to be this butterfly. So there's no more caterpillar anymore. And I think that that's the time in your life where you're at right now, Gemini. You know, so maybe it's you. This is your energy of you know this is coming. You know soon enough that you're going to have to shed, shed your skin and shed some people with that skin. That you're going to have to leave a job behind. You know. And right now, you're just walking through with your old face. But you can feel this brewing underneath. You know it's going to happen. This is natural. It's destiny. It's part of your life cycle. You're changing. And that's what's meant to be. You have to make this change. It's nature. This is awakening. It's the 11 card. This is divine intervention. It's meant to happen. And you're finding your tribe. This change was, was always faded for you. It was always going to happen. It's, I mean, looking at this reading now is like a, a beginning and ending of a major life cycle. Having to leave and having to move on. And this is like genetically, it's in your DNA. This is like growing up, maturing. This is like, it's, it's just happening. It's, it's taking off. You're going. This is time for you to move on. Or time for somebody in your life to move on. Because they're like shedding their old skin. See, and this is your, definitely your card because it's a two. That duality. See? It's like somebody here being stable and the other one wanting to rush forward. This energy of duality, but it's definitely, definitely like coming from one place and going to another. It's, 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 I keep getting it. It's supposed to happen. It's supposed to happen. Time to heal. Maybe somebody in your life left and 55, huge change coming. So there, this could very well have been a breakup or a loss of a job or something tremendous in your life, an ending that maybe you weren't prepared for and kind of sideswiped you. And so being objective is the only way that you can actually get, this is 12-12, something about a divine counterpart. Um, this is an energy of 12-12 uh, in 2020. That's crazy energy. So that's something about a divine counterpart and having to heal yourself. And, and something needed to be left in the past so that the future, you could be prepared for the future. Because something is totally, something new is starting. And you needed to go through what you went through in order to be prepared and positioned to go through, to, 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 run into or be in the place, travel to the place, see the opportunity and go to the place where you need to go to, to, to connect basically with the other side, with your destiny. And it's so weird when I was talking to you about, you know, like, like, uh, transforming, I, I saw a snake shedding its skin. And now this card comes up. It's definitely, you are shedding your old self and that's, it's gone. Okay, Gemini, trust in the magic. Go with the flow. There is a new beginning. Do you see? And this is a new beginning in the winter, and this could be very well a new love, a new love coming into your life, a new romance, a new romance that wants to start, wants to, wants to open up. Guess what? A new bird doesn't want to come around where a snake still exists. You've got to heal this. You've got to, you've got to heal it. And then allow a new beginning to happen to you. Claim your independence. I think this is what has to come first. This is definitely a sense of maybe um, somebody not telling somebody that they really don't want to be in a relationship anymore. That's the energy that I'm getting. And there's so many opportunities and abundance around you. You have the resources. You have the material. You have the abundance. You have sort of the material things in place that you want. And yet, it's like almost like who you're surrounded by is not what you want. Time to let go. You have been holding on to a relationship or staying in a situation for the sake of somebody else. And it's been eating away at you slowly. Now it's time to sing your own song and be your own person. It's time to let your truth out and tell them in the way that only you can tell people a way that even though you're breaking their heart, they don't, they can't hate you. There's just this sense of uh, let them know. 
dedicate a song to them and let them know that it's tearing you up inside, but you've got to move on. That's this energy that's coming through. Gemini, hold on because I want to review the cards with you. So here we go. Big spread, right? Extremely full spread. The mask is coming off. What has been kept hidden or what has been hidden, what has been lying beneath the surface. Do you see this is also, this is the energy of looking out through somebody else's eyes, of wearing some, another face, but those eyes are, are something that's totally different. This is like seeing with a deeper sense and having access to a higher vision. This is knowing that your destiny is not where you are right now. And this is the transformation process of making a decision of who needs to go and who needs to stay of what is what to what to keep what is wasteful and what is not you know what is garbage and what is not it's not about how something looks it's about how useful it can be in your life and basically taking what you need taking what you need making those choices setting those boundaries and taking what and who you need into the future to heal yourself to grow to expand in the direction that you need to go this is 100% your grounding energy this reading gemini is all about making a decision to move on, maybe from somebody that doesn't wanna let you go, and you know it's coming, and they don't know it's coming. Or you've been staying in this situation because you didn't wanna hurt somebody, you didn't want, you didn't wanna let, you didn't want to disappoint somebody. This could very well be that the universe steps in, and it almost is like them coming into you and saying, I, I need to be independent. I need to let you go. And it's going to be like music to your ears to hear that because something has been eating away at your heart for quite some time. And it's that you just didn't feel the circumstance or situation was working. This doesn't necessarily have to be romance, Gemini. It's just this idea of being in a circumstance that was not working for you, but not having the heart to say it because you were giving too much of yourself. That's what's going on. Now, how are things going to pan out? How, are they, how do we move forward? Um, 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 what is the reaction on the other side? And what, where are we rushing off to? All of this I'm going to go into in terms of the tarot card spread. That link is below. Also, your romance reading. Follow me over there, Gemini, and I will see you soon.